crate time! That's right, it's time for another monthly loot crate. The monthly crate of loot that comes in the mail and you have no idea what's inside, but I, Ken Gag, your YouTube channel and Game Bits, am about to find out. So this is the February edition, comes in the standard black box, inscrutable as to its contents, but we are about to find out. The box itself has a design and a theme, the contents have a theme. This is my third monthly loot crate, possibly the last of my monthly loot crates because I only signed it for three months. So let's find out if this has good enough contents to make me want to come back. All right, so first, I set the box aside and we'll focus on each individual content. We have a money world. Hmm, this is a create your own art toy. Okay, oh, well, let's uh, pull this out and see just how artistic I'm going to get. Okay, so right off the bat, we have a doll that looks like it comes from some sort of a horror movie. Uh, Village of the Damned, perhaps? I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Thank you, Loot Crate. But I have markers, possibly dry erase, that I can use to decorate my own little demon child. Thanks. We might get a clue as to why I got that with the next item, which is the button that indicates this month's theme. And it says, Loot Crate February 2015 Play. Play? Well, okay, that's a little Monopoly logo that they're showing there. So I guess this month's theme is fun. <laughs> that's really original. That's kind of why I signed up for this. Okay, here we have Super Fight, the Loot Crate deck. This is something from Skybird Games, Skybound. This is a 100 card version of the viral card game Super Fight, designed exclusively for Loot Crate by Skybound. These cards are only available in this exclusive deck. Create hilarious fighters with these cards, then argue over who would win in a fight between them. Okay, skybound.com for more information. Let's briefly open this up. We're not going to play a full game right now, of course. But I do want to see what kind of cards these are and who's going to win in a super fight. I assume there's a rule. Yep, there are the rules. Blank cards. Derby Girl, Water Buffalo, Prince Charming, Hydra, Mothra, France, Iron Giant. Can only be killed by a stake through the heart. Commands an army of disposable minions armed with a Gatling gun, covered in gasoline, riding a nuclear missile. Okay, so kind of like apples to apples or snake oil, it's one of those argue your way to victory. Black and white cards reminiscent of Cards Against Humanity. Ooh, I have a little bag here that could be dice. I have a dice bag of my own that I'm very fond of. I love dice. It goes back to my Dungeons and Dragons days. And I was right, they're dice. These seem to show fingers. So that would be one through six, but most people only have five. So a closed fist, I guess, is a zero or six, depending on how you want to look at it. And black and white. So I just rolled. 2d6, and I got a, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and a 2, 7, yay. I will add that to my monstrous dice collection, which includes many more dice already. So, not monstrous compared to some people, but people I know who are not gamers, they look at my collection, they're like, I've never seen so many dice in my life, which makes me kind of sad because it means I haven't seen many dice, period. So in go the two new additions. Thanks, Loot Crate. Here we have a pineapple, also known as a hand grenade. Uh, the robotic creature, actually no, it's not a grenade at all, it's a larva. Larva. That's disgusting. This is right up there with the demon child. So this month's theme is you're not going to sleep until next month's theme. Thanks, Loot Crate. Uh, it's a hex bug larva. And I guess it's going to crawl around once I put a battery in or something. And the battery's already inside and there's just a little switch. That is disgusting. My God. It's a little early for April Fools. Oh, now here's something cool. One of my favorite books of all time. Ready Player One, Ernest Klein, same guy who wrote the movie Fanboys. 
This is a fantastic book. Contains references to Ultima, Apple One, Star Wars, Star Trek, every piece of pop culture geek reference you could possibly imagine in a single book. Wow. So I have my own copy of this now. Previously, I only got it from the library. But now I have a copy I can read anytime I want, if I ever want to go back and read it again. So that's kind of cool. If you don't already have that book, I recommend it. And apparently, I recommend it even if you have already read it. There is a Loot Crate membership card. I don't know why I need this now when I've been doing this for three months. What evs? A crate packing simulator game. Oh, that's what the dice are for. So there's actually a game I play with those dice. Okay. Firefly. This is a Buddhist temple concept art. The Overland awaits you, Captain. So this is probably a promo code for their game. Love Firefly. Uh, this is the monthly description of what I got in my Loot Crate. Oh, these are the pieces that I punch out for use with the game that the dice call for. So I have all the parts and pieces I need. Four player, yellow, green, blue, and red. And then, you know, the description of everything I got this month. Yay. Uh, hmm. This could be mistaken for just packaging material, but there's actually something in here. A poster. Gotta be careful in wrapping these so that you don't destroy its mint condition. Hey! It's already not in mint condition. It's all kinds of banged up. But that's a Miss Pac-Man cartridge for the original Atari 2600. A schematic scheme. I like it. Wish it was in better shape. And then the box itself, as I said, has a theme, and I didn't just mean the content. Here is the board you play on for the game. That uses all those pieces and dice. So you actually unfold the whole box, and it becomes the game board. So that is this month's Loot Crate. And this is my third and final Loot Crate. I don't think I'll be signing up. It's a little too random for me to continue my membership. But there are lots of other crates out there that I'm going to check out. So stay tuned to YouTube channel Gamers for more unboxings.